everything that glitters in bits or is becoming like that. We all have mobile phones, we all have a profile on Facebook. We're moving into a world which is built around information. Hi, I'm Rufus Pollock, I'm the President and Founder of Open Knowledge and I'm an Ashoka Fellow. So what is Open Knowledge? In a couple of sentences, it's very simple. We're a non-profit, we were founded over a decade ago and our mission is to open up information. Uh, that could be everything from government budgets through to the safety of the drugs that you take when you go to the doctor to what's in the food you eat and make it available to everyone from entrepreneurs to researchers to, to everyday citizens so they can use it to create insight that drives change. It's easy to get hold of lots of information about you, where you've been, what you've done, what you bought, you know, and it's also a world in which if you control information like that you can make vast amounts of money and also have vast amounts of power. The issue about that is not so much that it's bad that people make money or that, that, that there's power, if you like, in the world. It's more that it gets very concentrated. So we already live in a world of these huge information kind of monopolies. Google, Google determines what you find online. It's a wonderful service, but it's also one controlled by one American corporation. And they can determine what you know about the world in a way nowadays. Similarly, Facebook, marvellous in loads of ways, but also has, knows almost everything about you, or at least about you and your friends. And that is also very scary. And you have these two kinds of worlds. A world, you could say, built around those possibilities of openness, of sharing, of collaboration, of insight. And the other, which is built around control, uh, exclusion, exploitation, and ultimately manipulation. And both of those worlds are possible in this information age. And the mission of open knowledge is to realize what we would say is clearly the, the, the heaven, the world of openness, of sharing, of collaboration, of the possibilities of, of knowledge, information in the digital age, rather than the hell of surveillance, of manipulation, of control, of exclusion, and of massively concentrated power and wealth. We've campaigned around the world and done a whole bunch of work to get governments to actually tell you where your money, tax money goes. It's actually the most fundamental things governments do is take, t charge you taxes and then spend that on, um, it can be on fixing roads, it can be on hospitals, it can be on schools. And actually understanding where that money goes and showing it to citizens in a way they can understand. So there's a project we did called Where Does My Money Go? which really not only work to get the UK government to release unprecedented amounts of information, but also to really show it to people in a way that was understandable. And that project, not only has it engaged thousands of, hundreds of thousands of people now, but in fact that project actually led the government to save millions of pounds of money by discovering inefficiencies and where they allocated money, so it's also had benefits in that way. We need to build a movement and we need to, to literally to create environmentalism, if you like, of, 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 of the information age. And I think that's what Open Knowledge, along with other organisations, are seeking to do. And, and it needs, we need volunteers, if you like, we need those standard buyers, we need those people who, just as in environmentalism, went out and whether they became activists, whether they became, tried to change policy, whether they actually just built things, they decide to live differently, that is what we need. We need people building tools, we need people fighting for the right rules and regulations of this digital age, and we need people making changes in their daily life. Choosing to use services that protect their privacy or which share information in a useful way and that share it with everyone. Um, that whether, you're gonna, whether you're a technologist building technology and services that promote an open information age rather than a closed one. Um, and finally, by just getting involved and being an activist or, or being interested, learning, opening your mind. We like to say open knowledge is three things ultimately. It's open information, it's open infrastructures, but it's also open minds.